meditation instructions are often silly. There are many instructions which have no doubt from their contextual origins inherited an unnecessarily mysterious presentation. Let go of your thoughts, let go of the thinking mind, and let your thoughts pass are common meditation instructions which aren't necessarily easy to do. Hopefully I can demystify these instructions for you by the use of practical and modern language so that you can get a better understanding about how to actually apply these instructions. Depending on what type of meditation you're doing, the answer will differ. So today I will talk about three ways you can approach this to feel more confident in your meditation practice. So how do you let your thoughts pass? When you begin to examine your thoughts, you may notice they can be very compulsive. You may also notice that you don't always like your thoughts or the way they make you feel. If this is the case, you may find yourself with a sense of failing, failing to let your thoughts pass. It's important to know that if you're struggling with this, it's an indication that you need to change your understanding of how thoughts come and go. As long as you think you are the thinker of your thoughts or that you are in charge of your thoughts, The instruction to let go will always be difficult, simply because you can't let go as long as you're in control. So what you need to do is move away from the concept of being in control to non-judgmental awareness. The instruction is to let your thoughts pass. But the secret is that your thoughts already pass all on their own. It's not something that you have to do do. It's just something that you can be more or less aware of. The more aware you are, the easier it will be to notice when a thought passes. On the other hand, the less aware you are, the harder it will be to distinguish one thought from another. Any thought you had in the morning is no longer there in the evening. In fact, it's not even there in the very next moment. Our thoughts are constantly passing. Sometimes we have reoccurring thoughts, yes, but in this case, it's not the exact same thought from the moment gone. It's a new thought in a new moment with the same appearance. Some people think that to let go of thoughts, they need to push the thoughts away. This is not the case. Instead, you need to return to the meditation without blocking or pushing. Using effort to get rid of thoughts will lead you down a path of more thinking. Let your thoughts be, and naturally they will pass, as is the nature of thoughts. The problem with thoughts is that they're very clever. They come and distract us, disguised as different ideas, and unless we're skillful enough, we forget we're meditating. But remember, this is the practice of meditation. Returning to awareness. Become aware again. Return to meditation. The moment you do this, the impermanent nature of thoughts will become obvious. You might have to return to meditation again and again. You might even have to do it once every five seconds. So be diligent. Unfortunately, this specificity is not normally explained in meditation instructions. That's why we find ourselves so confused when we experience the distraction of thoughts when trying to meditate. You should expect to become distracted over and over again. That's why we practice meditation. You can be aware of the entirety of a thought, from the moment it arises to the moment it disappears. If you can be aware of every millisecond of a thought, you can watch thoughts come and go as your meditation practice. This is a very advanced skill, and it does require a high level of awareness, but it is a very useful practice. To be completely familiar with the impermanence of thought means complete freedom. Although it's hard, I still wanted to mention this technique because even if you won't be able to do it the first time you try, it's still something you can work towards and it can be completely life-changing. So that is how to let your thoughts pass. If you have any tips or experience on this topic, feel free to share it in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.